So dy by dx is nothing but slope of the tangent. So what I'm doing is I take this equation, I differentiate with respect to x. So 2y derivative of y is 16 into derivative of x. So from this I get dy by dx is 16 upon 2y, that is 8 upon y. Then the slope of the tangent is at which point you want at 1 comma 4. So slope of the tangent at 1 comma 4 is 8 divided by its y coordinate. So slope of the tangent is 2. So the equation of tangent will be y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Tangent is a line, so slope point form. Any doubt in this part? No, so y minus 4 is 2 into x minus 1. So your answer became y minus 4 is 2x minus 2. So 2x minus y plus 2 equal to 0. Is it fine with everybody? This is the equation of tangent. Then what is the equation of normal? The equation of normal would be the slope of the tangent is 2. Slope of the tangent is 2. Slope of the line perpendicular to it will be? One, minus 1 by 2. Minus 1 by 2. So what will be the equation? Y minus 4, four is equal to? Minus 1 by 2, two x minus 1. So 2y minus 8 is equal to minus x plus 1. So x plus 2y minus 9 equals 0. Now this is a lengthy method. This is a method you can adopt for any curve. But if you want to do this problem very fast, there is a simple method. y square equal to 16x. Write y as y into y1. 16 as half the coefficient plus x plus x1. This is a direct formula. So y into y coordinate, y coordinate is four, is eight into x plus one. If you cancel this both, you will get same exactly the same answer that you got before. Two x minus y, two into one is two, plus two equals zero. This is a shortcut method. Directly you can get. And once you know this tangent, you know the slope of the tangent, from there you can find the slope equation of the normal. Is that clear to everybody? Yes, sir. This I had explained to you last time, right? Yes, sir. So we will apply this shortcut method, although we will write this method. Can we write down? So write the question. Okay, I'll take this uh, question from your booklet, what I asked, given you. One minute. Uh, we'll write this question. Okay, let's do this problem. Question number one. You've got to find the equation of tangent and normal to the parabola at the point whose ordinate is y, 12. Ordinate is 12. That means what? You have a parabola, y squared equal to 6x, whose y coordinate is 12. So imagine a point whose y coordinate is 12. You don't know its x coordinate. And you're asked to find the equation of tangent at this point and the equation of the normal at this point. I hope you understood the question. Yes, so, sir. Okay. Make a diagram. Write the question first. Question you're writing or not writing? Okay. No, it's only one right. sentence. Write out. Find the equation of tangent and normal. Find the equation of tangent and normal to the parabola. Y square equal to 6x. At the point whose ordinate is 12. Ordinate means y coordinate is 12.
Now make a small diagram. Y square equal to 6x. The y coordinate of this point is 12. And you're asked to find the equation of tangent and the equation of normal. Normal will be perpendicular to the tangent. So write method one by using derivative. Only one first problem I'm going to do by all this method. Second problem I'm going to do by shortcut method. First thing given, parabola is y square equal to 6x. When y takes value 12, what is x value? What x is 144 divided by 6. How much is that? Much? 24. 24. So the point is, 24, 12. Now find divided by dx, differentiate. So I first found out the point. If the point is not given, find the point. Then differentiate 2y divided by dx is 6. So divided by dx is 3 upon y. So the slope of the tangent is at 24 comma 12 is 3 upon 12 that is 1 by 4. Now you can write the equation of tangent. So we'll apply slope point form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So y minus 12 is 1 by 4 into x minus 24. Now cross multiply. Keep x always positive. This is your answer. That is the equation of tangent. Then write shortcut method. So equation of parabola is y square equal to 16x. So equation of tangent at x1, y1 on it. Y square is equal to 6x. Uh, y square equal to 6x. So y square will become what? Y into y1. Uh, y into y1 is three equal to? 3 into x plus x. Yes. Therefore, Hi. equation of tangent. So in the first method, we didn't find the equation of normal. I'll do it after this. If okay. I thought I'll finish up both together and then I'll be. Okay, sir. Equation of tangent is y into y1, 12, is 3 into x plus 24. So you can cancel this both. So 4y is equal to x plus 24, which implies x minus 24y plus 24 equal to 0. So you got exactly the same answer. This is the method that I'll be using all the time. Only for one problem, I thought I'll just show you the derivative method. Now, equation of normal, I'm not using two methods. I'm using only one method. You Either you derive the slope of the tangent from here or derive the slope of the tangent from derivative. Now, next setting is equation of normal. C 
slope of normal is minus 1 upon slope of tangent. So you can derive the slope of the tangent either by derivative method or by the shortcut method. So minus 1 upon 1 by 4. Minus 4. So equation of normal. Y minus Y1 is minus 4 into X minus 24. You can arrange it 4X plus Y. This become 96 minus 12 and minus 96. It 108. Now plus 24, yeah. Is this clear to everybody? Yes, sir. So now onwards, we'll use red method and the blue method. We will not go for the derivative method. Derivative method is only just a sample method to show you how to do the problem. So in the application of derivative, we'll be again learning this part. If you have finished this question, just read the second question and be ready for it. So today what I'm teaching you is the basics of tangent and normal. But the question that you will be getting for uh, homework will be a little more complicated. Have you all completed? Yes, sir. Anybody writing? Okay, so we go for second question. Try to do yourself this question. Equation of tangent, only tangent they have asked, at two comma minus one. So we are not planning to do by derivative method. So equation of parabola is x square minus 4y. So write equation of tangent to parabola. x square equal to minus 4y at x1, y1 is. Give me the answer. X into X1 is equal to minus 2 into Y plus Y1. Y1. Anybody, any doubt? Any one of you? Is the formula clear how to write? Therefore, equation of tangent at 2 comma minus 1. What will be the answer? X plus y minus one is equal to two. Y minus one. So your answer is X plus Y minus one equal to. Question number two is clear to everybody. Do you remember the meaning of parameter? What is the meaning of parameter? If you know the parameter, can you find the point on the parabola? Yes, sir. 80 square comma 280. Okay. So here comes the next part. All of you ready? What is the equation of tangent to the parabola? y square equal to 4x at pt. What is the meaning of pt? 80 square comma 280. We are supposed to buy heart this formula. Anybody knows the answer? Yes, sir. Y, y into, into x, y into x, plus x plus 80. 80. Very good. Excellent. So that means if you forget it, what you should do? y into y1 is equal to 2a into x plus x1. If you apply this, you got the answer. 2a gets kind of yt is equal to x plus 8 is good. So what is a in this problem? 3. 
3. So equation of tangent to y squared equal to 12x at p minus 2. So you have to replace a by 3. a is equal to 3 and t is equal to minus 2 and you get your answer. So y into minus 2 x plus 3 into minus 2 square and that's your answer. Minus 2x 2y is equal to x plus 12. So x plus 2y plus 12 equal to 0. I think everybody understood how to find the equation of tangent at a point. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And for the equation of normal, from the tangent, you will get the slope. From that, you can find the equation of the normal. Okay. Now, how do you check that line is a tangent to the parabola? We'll come to the next problem. Can I change the page? Yes, sir. If other students also respond, it will be good. How will I come to know? If I give you a parabola, if I give you equation of this line, is this line a tangent to the parabola? How will I come to know? We will try to find perpendicular distance. No, but there is no circle, like circle parabola don't satisfy the condition that the distance is constant. Distance from the focus is different, different. So we cannot apply that method. Okay, there are two methods. One method is solve the equation of the line with parabola. I'll show you. Our parabola's equation is y squared equal to 8x. Line's equation is uh, x plus y plus 2 equal to 0. Solve this two equation. For example, I'll replace y as minus of x plus 2. I'll put that over here. Minus of x plus 2, the whole square, equal to 8x. Expand it. So I can say x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. When I solve this, I'll get both the x coordinate equal. Now tell me the meaning of the statement. Here was a parabola. When I draw a line, there are three possibilities. Line can be like this, intersecting at two points. The line can be like this touching at one point. The line can be like this. Do not touch the parabola at all. Do you agree with this? When you solve the equation of parabola and the line, what you get is a common point between the two. If you are getting the x values are two different values, then you can say the tangent is intersecting. If you get the x coordinate same, that means the tangent is intersecting at coincident point. So what you can say, x is two and x equal to two. So the roots are equal. If the roots are equal, the line intersect the parabola at coincident point. Therefore, the line is a tangent. Suppose this quadratic equation gave me imaginary roots, then the line would be neither tangent nor secant. I hope you understood. And the common point, the x coordinate of the point, common point is two. So put x as two in this equation, y coordinate will be minus four, this will be the point of contact.
This is one method of showing a line is a tangent to any curve, not only parabola, anywhere. Solve both the equation, get a quadratic equation. If the roots of the equation are equal, then the line is a tangent. Long method. Now short method. Are you ready? Uh, do we have to write this? Yes, please. The concept I'm teaching in the concept. If the concept is has need to be clear first, then only I can teach you the short method. If you are not written, please do it. After I finished writing, you must tell me. So what we did, solving equation one and two by substituting two and one. And when we solve, what do you get? You get the point of intersection. And when we try to find the point of intersection, we got both the points are same. Therefore, the line became a tangent. I should cooperate a little more. Why is this no fun? Okay, find the value of K. What to do? What are the equations of tangent having slope M? Y is equal to Mx plus? K by M. A by M. Here parabola is y square equal to 6x. So what is the value of A? 6 by 4, 3 by 2. 3 by 2. Now, if what is the slope of this line? 2 by K. Ah, yes. So we can say, okay, KY is minus 2x ky is minus 2x minus 3. So y is minus 2 by kx minus 3 by k. So your m here is minus 2 by k and your c here is minus 3 by k. And you know that c's value should be a by m. Just substitute. So from this, you can get case value. So you will get minus 3 by k is 3k upon minus 4. So k square is equal to 4. So value of k should be either plus 2 or minus 2. Whenever a line is a tangent, c's value should be equal to a by m. Which bit out may up long earlier? God only knows. God save you people. Who's trying in your class, man? Yeah. 